Cardiff TV on my way to the game. It's Arsenal versus Newcastle today. It's been ages since we played at the Emirates, of course. We had that uh, winter break last week. And of course, um, before that, we had about two, three away games. So we just haven't been at the Emirates recently. So it's great to be back home. Uh, just before I tell you how I think the game's gonna go, I thought we'd check out the guys from uh, the Magpie channel. That's the Newcastle fan channel. And hear what they had to say. Matty, take it away. Matty here from the Magpie channel, AKA Joe Linton. Yep, that really did happen. Put the bet out there if he scored against Oxford that I'd dye my hair the same colour as his. Obviously he scored, so I went for it. Unlike Troops, this doesn't wash out. I've seen Troops did his forfeit, his, lost his bet, and uh, sprayed his on. Mine will not wash out in the shower. I am stuck like this for six to eight weeks. The real Slim Shady, the real Joe Linton, please stand up. But I'm rolling with it, I'm rocking it. Can Newcastle roll up? To the Emirates tomorrow and get a result. For the first time in forever, I'm slightly confident of doing so. I think at the minute, I know Robbie said that he's a draw FC on our channel. He came on and said he's a draw FC, picking up nothing but draws. And Steve Roost will definitely be going to the Emirates to pick up that draw. Five at the back, wing backs getting forward, try and catch you on the counter attack. The pace and trick you of St. Maximin and Almiron will be our main threat. And Joe Linton, obviously. We all know what happens when he goes to North London. 1-0 against Spurs in August. That's his only Premier League goal. So hopefully it's a good, good location. He likes it down there in London, Joe Linton. But uh, we all know Tottenham are obviously the smaller club in North London. And it'll be a trickier test at the Emirates. If we can keep Aubameyang quiet, Dubravka needs to have a great game. Like he has done on many occasions. He saved us. And it's Newcastle this season under Steve Bruce have been the unpredictables. You know, we beat Chelsea. Beat Spurs. Beat Man United. Drew against Man City. And then we'll draw against Brighton at home. We'll get beat against Norwich away. It's like, we're up and down. You never know. But thankfully, we're, we're, we're most likely staying up. It's, it's incredible that Newcastle have actually got more wins in the Premier League this season than you lot, than Arsenal. Newcastle with eight, Arsenal with six. And we're just about together in the table as well. More well, tied on points, are so close enough. But I know that this could be a bad time to play Arsenal because with the news of Man City not getting European football, it, it frees up fifth place potentially to get Champions League. So... If you go on a great run, you just could put yourself into the mix because that's how tight the table is. Or you could see Sheffield United at the Bernabeu. Mental. When we go at the Emirates, it's not a good place for us to go. You know, we haven't won there since 2010. Ten years ago since we won at the Emirates. It's not good. It's not a happy hunting ground for the Geordies, but this is the worst I've ever seen Arsenal in my lifetime. So what better chance to try and get a result? So like I say, hopefully we'll try and hit you on the counter-attack. We'll get a chance, we need to take it, that's the thing. Maybe from a corner, something like that, a header. Or like I say, St. Maximin or Almiron getting in behind with their pace. But the most important thing is shoring up the defence for us. You know, Keeping it tight, keep the five at the back organised because Aubameyang and Lacazette will probably Lacazette will probably break his duck. I know he hasn't been doing too great. He hasn't even scored in the Raw Tetas reign. He's bound to get one. Um, Pepe will probably make him look every worth maybe 72 million, but... To be fair, he's coming good now, isn't he? So I really rate Martinelli as well. I, I, I don't even want to see him, to be fair. I'd probably rather see like I said, at this rate because that Martinelli looks like an unreal prospect. But Newcastle-wise, our danger man, I'm sure you all know, Gucci, headband St. Maximin, is great when he wants to be. Um, end product's still lacking here and there, but we love him. He's a fancy playmaker. Um, trickery by a dozen. And you've got Amir on there with pace, and he's starting to chip in with goals. And obviously you've got Joel Linton on there. I'll be there trying to get the goals. And then we're defenders of the top scorers, though. Like so Lejeune, who got two in a minute against Everton away, and Lascelles, Shaw, they're all they're all a threat. So I think it, I think it'll be a tight game. I don't think we'll get hammered, but hopefully we can go there. And I'll be buzzing with a draw, to be honest. But hopefully we'll get a we'll get a couple of goals as well. We'll see you all down there. I'm looking forward to going down to the Emirates, one of my favourite grounds to go to. Always a good vibe, good meeting up with the Arsenal lot. And uh, hopefully Storm Dennis Wise doesn't interrupt our trip too much. See you tomorrow, and may the best team win. So you heard what uh, Matty had to say there. I personally think, yes, Newcastle are going to come for a draw. They're going to be very well organised. They're going to set up, like Matty says, uh, to get a draw. And Arsenal, of course, we're desperate for a win. We've got to start turning these draws into wins. And um, hopefully it starts today. And I do think it's going to start today. I think the team's going to be fresh. I think they're going to be up for it. It's going to be interesting whether he goes with Lacazette or Martinelli um, in the starting lineup. That's going to be really interesting to see. But I'm feeling confident today. The fans are going to be right behind the team. 
The weather is absolutely dreadful today. So that may play into the hands of Newcastle. But at home, I think we're going to be all right. I'm going to go for Arsenal winning this by two goals to nil. What do you guys think? Leave it in the comments below. But on the way to the game, and glad to say for the first time in a long time, we're going to do 